as you can see my knitting now measures 10 and a half inches which is what I wanted for this from the um the armholes up to the shoulder and I have done currently two two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eight then eighty two. It took me eighty two rows to get to ten and a half inches. So now I'm going to show you how what I'm doing with the um the shoulders. These stitches I was casting off. And I'm going to cast off fourteen stitches beginning of the next four rows. And I'm still using circular needles here, so I need to turn them round. The wool is getting a bit tangled up here. Right, so I'm going to cast off 14 stitches. And I'm casting off in the, the order of the, the stitches that I'm doing. If they're knit, I'm casting off knitwise, and if they're purl, I'm casting off purlwise. I think I've cast off one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and don't pull the stitches tight when you're casting off, just do them loosely. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, so that's 14 stitches I've cast off, the first 14 stitches there, and I'm going to knit across the row, and I'll cast off 14 stitches purlwise. So that's another 14 cast off that side and knit across the row and then we'll be casting off 14 on that side as well. And we're on to the fourth cast off. So I'm going to cast off the last 14 stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, is 14. So that's all the stitches cast off for the shoulders, both sides. And now we have 38 stitches left, which we're going to purl across and then put onto a stitch holder. I am just adding a little bit of the video because I messed up. I pressed the button twice when I was recording to do the shoulders on this. And I pressed it twice, so instead of just starting it, started it and stopped it straight away and I didn't realise. But um, you're casting off 14 stitches for the shoulders. And that left you with 38 stitches, which you put onto a, um, a stitch holder. So that's cast off 14 stitches at the start of the next four rows. And then... Put the 38 stitches that you're left with onto a stitch holder and then on with the rest of the video. These things happen sometimes when I'm recording. And now we are on to the left front and we're casting on 65 stitches. That's what I have there and I'm going to knit, knit one purl one in twisted rib for 20 rows and then we will start the um the pattern and the first row of the the knitting will be a knit row and we'll be increasing to 70 stitches on that row so we're just going to do this is just knit one purl one for 20 rows It's twisted rib, which I am doing, which means I'm knitting, knitting into the back of the knit stitch. On every knit stitch, on every row. Not the purl stitch, just the knit stitch. So we'll just carry on with that, the 20 rows of the rib, and now we'll be back to show you how to start the pattern off again. We'll have knit the 20 rows, and now I'm going to start the pattern. I'm going to knit the first two rows, and I'm going to knit the first row and purl the second row, and then start the pattern. But this first row, I'm going to increase. So we have 65 stitches here. I'm going to increase to 70 stitches. So I am going to increase on every 11th stitch. So yeah, so I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to increase, going in it in the front and the back of the next stitch, the 11th stitch. Then I'm going to knit another 11 and do that again and do that all the way across the row. So every 11th, every 11th stitch. I want to the last stitch that I'm increasing on. And then I'm going to knit to the end, which is two, four, six, eight. 10 more stitches and now the next row is just purl all the way across So one, two, three, four, 
five and carry on to the end of the all purling now we are on to the first pattern row and we are going to knit two and purl two knit two purl two and knit two purl two and just repeat those stitches knit two purl two until you get to the last two stitches and they will be knit two so we're at the last four stitches and we're going to purl two and knit two and I always knit it into the back of the knit stitch if a row ends with a knit I knit into the back of it so that's your first row and all it is is knit two purl two knit two purl two knit two purl two and what you start with in knit two you're ending with knit two and then the next row is just purl all the way across simple as that just purl so that's a purl row knitted and next row is just reversing what we did instead of starting with knit two we're going to start with purl two so we're in the first two stitches are purl Oops. and the next two are knit so we were purling where we were knitting before and knitting where we were purling so the next two stitches are purl And the next two are knit. So we'll just repeat those stitches across the row where the next two are purl, and then two knit, then two purl, and two knit. So the last four stitches are knit two. And we started with purl, two purl, so we're finishing with two purl. And the next row, like the second row, is just purl all the way across. So we just keep purling till you get to the end of the row. So that is the four rows to the pattern. It's just one row of knit two, purl two, then one row of purl. Then the next row is purl two, knit two, all the way across. And then the fourth row is purl. And you just keep on doing those four rows until your work measures. Mine is going up to 17 inches to the armholes or whatever length anyone who might be following this is doing and i will catch up with you then when we get to the armholes